And welcome back, everyone. Ellington here, and we are back on Total War Rome 2. We've got ourselves a three versus three today on the settlement of Tulifurdum. And this one was sent in by the Nabatea player. Nabatea here being commanded by Decibel. His allies, we have got Arverni being commanded by CD the King, and Carthage being commanded by Pagan. For the attackers, we've got Galatia being commanded by Baron. We've got Swaby being commanded by Why Me? And finally, we've got Dacia Gete. Hold on, we got Side Chariots. Side Chariots coming in from Nabatea. He loses a couple to a de uh, to a Javi toss there. Gete was thankfully paying attention, was able to drop his towers, allowing the units to get a Javi toss. When they're on the tower like that, they can't really throw the they can't throw their javelins. So good move there. Side chariots up to 352 kills. He snuck right into this. Really, you know, hurting. Look at these axe warriors, 74, 68, 377 now on the chariot, and he's only got uh, three chariots left. Got some spear horses from Gete that came in. It is broken, but it is not uh, uh, shattered, excuse me. He's got three chariots left at this point. Maybe, no, he had five. I'm sorry. It always confused me because sometimes the number is not the amount of chariots, but the amount of men. You know, sometimes they have two guys, but the, these chariots don't. That's so I'm stupid. Chariot up to 490 kills. And as they're chasing it, the Nabatea artillery also getting some shots off on these cav. Nabatea's artillery already doing a hell of a lot of work in destroying this ballista, which was Swaby's. They thankfully have another ballista over here from Gete. So hopefully Swaby knows that he can take his artillery crew over here, which I'm going to take a wild guess he doesn't because he hasn't moved it over here yet. Gete used his artillery for the most part destroying this wall and now he is taking pot shots against the defenders here. I don't think I finished who uh, is playing Gete because of the side chariots. Uh, Gete being commanded by R. Bud. Sorry about that. Hopefully, uh, Swaby, the Swaby player here, who is that again? Swaby is Y me, it's Y M E, is watching to hopefully learn that you can take your ballista and put it on your allied ballista, you know, because then you're not wasting the 760 gold that you use to buy that ballista that you think you can't use anymore, if that makes sense. Now, Swaby, I'm not a huge fan with the army that Swaby went here. He went with a lot of the Wolf Warriors, but the Wolf Warriors are, honestly, they're not bad. They're solid units, but they are, a lot like a lot of Swaby units, they are high-octane, fast, go, go, go kinds of units, which means that swarming the walls, they are maybe not the best at because you want to be able to cycle the Wolf Warriors and storming the wall like this is not really a good opportunity to do that if that makes sense um it may have been better to possibly let gete and galatia take the lead here while swaby came in a little bit afterwards with the wolf warriors wolf warriors have only 20 armor so that's another thing they have to worry about is you have all of the archers from the defenders are now going to be focusing the squishy, squishy wolf warrior units. I did want to say in this battle, um, I just so people know, if you have battles that you want me to cover, 
or you're interested in me covering on the channel, there will be a video at the end, a uh, link at the end of this video for my how to access battle replay video, which basically tells you how to find your battle replays in your folders and how to then send them to YouTubers. So um, it's one of the most viewed videos I have on my channel. Check it out if you're trying to get people to, you know, cover your battles because that can then be used not only for myself, but for say Joe on it or Pope John Paul or pixelated Apollo. That's how you send the videos to all of us. Um, usually most of us take them from the most part from discord. And so um, it does show you how to link that to discord or to email, so on and so forth. So if you want battles covered, make sure to check that out. Now, the Wolf Warriors are doing okay. 52 kills. I mean, really, they really need help. They need something to relieve them, right? And unfortunately, the other downside, like I said, they're just getting shot to hell. You know, we've got Mercenary Italian Swords, Libyan Infantry, Chosen Swordsmen, the Dacian Heavy Bows are shooting over the Chosen Sword. That's a pretty good shot right there. You know, it's sword side shot, and honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, and then the Javi Toss in the face. Good lord. Sorry, I just wasn't talking. I was watching the massacre that was happening to this chosen swordsman. Got some Navatine Axe Warriors. Navatine Axe Warriors, they're okay. They're not bad. Um, usually what you tend to see from Navatine is more of a combination of Navatine Swords and Armored Desert Hoplites. Because the Armored De Desert Hoplites are very, very good. Nabataean Swordsmen are a decently cheaper option of a, of a unit that gives you javelins. So combine those with a hoplite unit that's pretty solid, you know, you get a pretty good, pretty good combination. The problem with your Nabataean Axe Warriors is they're, they're very, they, they just, they don't like getting shot, you know? They're kind of squishy, they kind of die a little bit easy. You know, they've got Frenzy, so they're a unit that, you know, you want to be able to try and get in there with your Frenzy and then pull them out. So, it's just something you don't see quite as often from Nabatea. I don't mind them as much, but usually you get the Armored Desert Hoplite, uh, you know, as your main lines. I keep hearing, I'm pretty sure, a Scorpion here. Yep, Glacia has got a Scorpion right here. Pretty well set up for, you know, a, a side shot and a lot of this stuff over here. You can see Glacier actually brought three towers up here. You saw that at the very beginning of the battle. It doesn't look like they have any plans of dropping, at least not at the moment. Could be they may even just be using it as a little bit of a, an arrow block, possibly. They even have another one here. But now it looks like he's gonna turn those and maybe land which is probably a good time. Glacian Legionaries are gonna be your big punch in this battle. Glacian Legionaries are arguably the best mid-tier unit in the game. There's an argument between a couple different units and they all have their pros and cons. You have Glacian Legionaries, you've got Tribal Warriors, and I would say, if you're gonna say, three. I would say Sword Followers from Bowie Eye, Tribal Warriors from Tylus, Galatian Legionaries from Galatia are probably arguably your top three mid-tier units in the game. If you're talking completely and totally mano a mano, man to man, no archer support, no, you know what I mean? You could probably put the Veteran Shield Warrior in there from Lusitani. They are extremely good in melee combat, they just are very, very squishy. And they don't like getting shot. Which is why in like the overarching th theme of things, they probably aren't on the same tier as your Galatian Legionaries or Tribal Warriors who can really take a little bit more of that abuse. 
But man to man, veteran shield warriors can go toe to toe with most any mid tier unit in the game. Even units that may beat it, they will be very hurt by the end of it. Just a little, a little nugget of information. They've got a lot on this hill that is basically going to live or die on this hill. You know what I mean? You've got um, a couple different infantry units, two pretty healthy ones, a lot of archers, 162 kills. The archers have been getting hella kills. 105, 88. So Dacia or Gete, I keep saying Dacia, but you know, they're the same thing. Gete is kind of the next wave, it seems. Swaybe now coming to a spear wall. I'm not sure on that pick of unit. I say it a lot. Spear units in this game are very, very underpowered. As a vast majority. There are good spear units. Not a whole lot of them. So as a vast majority, spear units are very underpowered in comparison to sword units. Sword units pack way more punch in this game and they kill more people. Spear units are usually good as kind of, you know, bringing a few cheaper spear units as like a counter cav type thing is definitely a thing. Bringing spears as like mainline infantry is basically a waste of money. Spear wall, I'm gonna tell you right now, is not gonna do super hot. And you just went shield screen, and that means that one of the benefits of having a unit like this, aka javelins, you basically have now made it where they won't throw their javelins. What he's doing is the shield screen increases his, uh, where is it, his armor, and I believe air, uh, missile def um, deflection. So, you put a shield screen, now they shoot you, and you can take it a little bit better. You're still gonna hurt. Be honest. They're actually, they've really kind of just, like, hit the brakes right now. Get a 250 kills on his ballista. Oh, come on. Where are you going? Where, 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 where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Where did the Gete Ballista go? So there's the destroyed um, Swaby one. I don't know. Like I said, they've really hit the brakes. They've they've slowed down quite a bit. Swaby now going to go in with his spear wall up against Navatine Axe Warriors. Navatine Axe Warriors should charge now or take Javi. And it really didn't do a whole lot. Interesting. They do not have expert charge defense, so the Navatine definitely should have charged back there. Same thing, guys. For the vast majority of your units, you want to counter charge, okay? Some units, like a lot of hoplites and stuff like that, have expert charge defense. Where with that, that means you stand still, let them charge you, and they will, they'll regret it, okay? But vast majority of units in this game, if you are being charged, you want to charge them back, okay? If they charge you, they're getting their charge bonus. If you don't counter charge, you're not which means that they get that bump to their attack while you don't. And so in the end, it's just gonna hurt you more. You want to get the counter charge so that you're both getting that charge bonus. I'm using all these like hand gestures that you guys can't see because I am a hand talker. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a, you know, I use my hands when I talk. And it's funny because, like, I'm doing that with you guys and you can't even see it. Just a fun fact. A lot of times, if you'll notice, if you notice, that sometimes when I go on a little bit of a descriptive talk, I'll stop moving in the, like, you know, the, the camera will stop panning around. 
It's because I took my hand off of the mouse and keyboard to make hand movements that you can't see. And it's a bad habit of mine, and I apologize. <laughs> you know, if it was a live speech that I was giving, it'd be great. I'm telling you. I, I'm a good public speaker. But when it's something you can't see, it's just uh, not, not really what, worth it. Especially when it means the camera's not moving around. So I apologize. All right, Galatian Legionaries now coming in in force. We got one, two, three Galatian Legionaries uh, at the base of this hill here. Well, two at the base, one at the top fighting the Libyan infantry. We got the Gallic Hunters maybe out of ammo or maybe they're just being dumb. I'm not sure. So everything on this hill is, I mean, it's, it's, that's where it's going to deliver die. That's what I said earlier. Sorry, I had to take a drink there. Scorpion 65 kills, excuse me, 665. If I could talk right. I'm wondering if this, like, do we think that the Swaby Ballista is out of ammo? Like, do we consider that, that is an option? What do you guys think? I wonder if the Swaby player is watching because I would love to know if that ballistas out of ammo maybe he knew about the whole oh hey calf 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 got two units of heavy horse from our Bernie. so the Nabataean noble calf would obliterate one of these units but I don't think it would want to get into a fight with two of them uh, now the Cappadocian calf and the Nabataean noble calf together is a different story but they are letting the calf through to their own archers and their allies archers what are we whoa oh no oh this hurts 19 kills i don't man are they, they missed a huge opportunity both of those cab units right down the lane here and all these archers are dead longbow hunters no, stay in them. Break them. Stay in them. Stay in them. No, stay in them. Oh, they really missed out here. Both of those Arverni calves should have went down the middle. Now they may... Can we get a general? No, no, no. No, take him. Well, you do have the Cappadocian coming around the back. Cappadocian took a, has had some fighting. 13 kills. Was he in the fight with the side chariot earlier? I don't think so. Oh, I'm really stupid. Nabat. Oh my god. Nabatea and Arverni are the allies. Are, are allies with each other. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, guys. That's what the cavalry fight was, was Nabatea's general fight in the Cappadocian cab. But I still 100% think that that means the Arverni cabs should have both gone down the lane and, and taken the archers out. And then there's another side chariot, too. Another side chariot. Now, this is a problem. Really well done here. Galatia dropping his towers and going shield wall. Very well done. I say it all the time, your best friend against chariots is shield wall and javelins. So what he could probably do right now, he could probably drop the shield wall and javy. Maybe not, maybe I would hold it for a sec, but now you drop here and javy. Got Nabatean archers up on the wall. side chariots 98 kills just notice the difference about what happened with this side chariot going into the shield walled glacial legionaries compared to the side chariot that came over here and got into all the galate or the all the gete units that's the difference look at that the side chariot just obliterated he probably maybe got 100 kills maybe Uh, 
Uh, I man, if I was Arverni, I would be just really upset that I didn't take both my cav right down the lane and get all those archers. With one cav, they got some of the archers. With both calves, they I think all those all five archers that were right there would have been dead. The attackers weren't paying attention. You know what I mean? The, that calf got in there with no, nothing contesting it. Nevati has another side chariot, by the way. Just a heads up. That's why that's why Nevatia doesn't have very much in the way of like higher tier stuff. That's why he's got a lot of Nevatian axe warriors. Is because he spent a lot. Of, I mean, those side chariots are expensive. I think they're twelve hundred gold. Look at the uh, Glacial Legionary already, 219 kills with two chevrons. He might have chevroned it once, though. I think I saw some of the Glacial Legionaries with chevrons on them already. 160 kills with two chevrons. Chosen Swords with two chevrons, 195, 196 kills. Chosen Swords putting up a desperate last stand. So the hill is going to be gone. Now what that's going to have to mean is that as they take the hill position, this is going to become a place that they really aren't going to be able to defend very well. You know, they may try to counter the archers here with their own, but it's a it's a hard shot. You know, the, the archers on the hill have the distinct advantage. What I would be, do, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the call right there. I was going to say Carthage should be pulling back. You use that depleted Italian sword to give your actual, you know, healthy units a chance to get out. I think that also we should be seeing Navatia probably be pulling his stuff. Now the Cav, I hate to say, is basically kind of in a tough spot right now because a lot of what it could have gotten or or anything, maybe chances it would have had, are now entering the settlement, which means that the opportunities to find soft spots are going to be a lot harder. So what we might see here is the Arverni Cav maybe just kind of chilling for a while and waiting until the attackers maybe aren't paying attention. You know, as the attack gets more underway onto the second position, you may find more opportunities to get into stuff with those Cav units. As you can see right now, it's just a lot of repositioning, a lot of movement of units. Sorry, just kind of like browsing around here. Looks like, are they gonna try and, I think he's just bringing his cab around back. There's a gate back here. Still have the side chariots or kind of hiding them outside. Maybe not, maybe. Is he gonna come? Don't come in this gate, please. Oh, this is risky. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say like, you are risking walking into this gate and getting jabby to hell by sword masters. So we do have, looks like, I think it'd be three because the general four, one, two, three, four sword masters for Swaby. Oh my God, look at Galatia. Noble swords for Gete, we got one, two, three, four, five, 
six noble swords for Gete. So they have plenty of upper tier power and they have plenty of mid tier power. This is gonna be a tough match for the defenders, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, this army is honestly a little scary. I still don't know that I liked the Wolf Warrior mid tiers for Gete, or I mean for Swaby. I think it probably would have been a little better off with maybe a little more in the Swordmaster range, but it would have left them a little undermanned on mid tiers. It's kind of a tough decision. Why shield wall? Shield walls means no jabbies. And like I said earlier, counter charge. Counter charge. Do it. Noble swords are gonna rack up kills here, guys. 180 kills already on this one. Obviously not from this combat, but you know what I mean. The shield wall might give them a little bit of, you know, I mean, it might help a little bit, but it's a noble sword. It's just a better unit. Libyan infantry are basically like, they're basically just the Carthaginian thorax sword. Die, fiends! They do seem to have quite a bit of uh, firepower left. Carthage still has his archers and, and his slingers. The African war elephants are now seen. I... Elephants are... Ah, oh man, I don't know. Elephants are tough. Especially guys like these. These ones are the non-armored elephants. And so usually one Javi toss and like four of them go down. So this is gonna be tough. Getting them into combat, especially the unarmored elephants, it takes precision. You have to pick the exact right time to get in there without one being javelin to the face, two shot to death by archers, three made put out of control by archers. So, I honestly would maybe pull them back to hold them a little bit longer, because I, I just don't think it, the time to use them is anywhere near. I don't get charging the noble horse into a death trap like this, charging uphill into two units with javelins. Doesn't seem like the smartest idea. Ah, oh, Galatia's scorpion up on the hill now this is dirty Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. what a position 76 kills on him now my worry is that maybe he might have used too much ammo outside in a less good position than he could right now in a better position hmm i guess we'll see but this is just, uh, they're just in ducks. There's really not a whole lot they can do about it. So they just got to kind of sit there and, you know, try and spread their units a little bit if they can. That's about all they can do. I can be honest with you, Galatia, I, I don't even think I would approach this at the moment. You try it. I mean, that's a lot of Galatian legionaries. All the Javis going into a weak one gives them a little bit of time to get the healthier units up the hill. But now you got spear warriors behind them. You got Nabataean axe warriors coming. You've got another spear warrior coming. You've got noble fighters here. This is a, a tough, a tough one, guys. Now, what I would not suggest doing is putting all three of these units into this. 
I would also put my scorpion to targeting this right here. If you can. He may not be able to hit that from this, like, kind of angle. I'm not sure. Just please do not send all three units in like that. Send a unit in, hit it. You know, use your other units behind as reinforcements or cycle power, you know what I mean? You also probably want to spread your unit out, you know what I mean? Spread it full. Oh, no, he's going just full in. How you doing over here? Chopping up. 241 kills on Noble Swords. Swordmasters now with 66, 75, and they're both decently healthy. Nabati and Axe Warriors with 51 kills and about to get a second Chevron. They have a second Nabataean Axe Warrior here that they pulled out of combat. They're gonna charge back in. Noble Swords, 139 kills. There you go, now I think they just have two units fighting now. Hopefully they re-target it onto the second unit. Mercenary Noble Fighters, they got hit by something. 110 men. Maybe that's what the uh, Scorpion's been shooting at. 127 kills with a Chevron. More and more stuff coming over here. I'd be setting my archers up right there and blasting this. Glacial Legionaries, 58 kills, 76 kills. You get a look-see here. Elephants, elephants, elephants. They're not out of control. Shield wall, though, from the spear warrior, or noble swords. Which, once again, what that does is it kind of stalls the unit. They need to keep moving. This is all shield wall, though. And look at all the, they, too early. I said it earlier, this was too early. Huge, I mean, 56 kills, that's it. I don't even think I'd be using fire arrows anymore. They're, you know what I mean? They're already out of control, just shoot them. They're already going down. Way too early to use these. If they come back here, you might as well just kill them. The just blob, uh, it's a blitzkrieg. I mean, Glacian legionaries just blasting their ways into this. But they need more units, you know. Scorpion, I think he might be out of ammo because he's still got only 127. Yeah, it looks like he's out of ammo. They're still on fire shot. I don't think they realize it. Oopsies. And they're gonna continue trying to hold that defense. So at the point, they do have a couple pikes. They've got one African pike, two African pikes. Um, right now, the one here, we'll see how long he can hold that. You know, if, if this gets threatened, it typically means you gotta fall back. You know, two pikes can hold this area pretty decently well. Mercenary noble fighters have gone into combat. 
This is a, it's gonna fr say fresher, but it's really not. 106, nine, well now he just took way losses. He was at 106, now he's at like 95. Looks like the Syrian archers for Galatia are out of ammo. Glacia now joining in on the assault on the left. He did not end up sending more troops over to the right. You see, some of them are doing decently well, but some of them have been getting shot up really badly. This guy, you know, we last looked at him, he was in 91, he's at 57. Only 42 kills. Yeah, they've got the bounce power pretty pretty handily at the moment, but they're taking big losses on the right. Double sorts have broken through. You'd see now they're kind of sneaking some more units off to the left. I would keep doing that. If you have some units, well, now they don't need to anymore. You know what I mean? They've kind of busted through, so now they can just kind of Keep on moving. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Probably loop around here, take the back of that. They might try to get the Nabatine Axe Warriors out. It's probably a bit too late for that, though. Second win on the Glacial Legionaries. Well done. He does get caught. Nabatine Axe Warriors stop him. But they're not gonna last long. 96 men. They're just clearly outmatched, you know what I mean? Glacian Legionaries are a far superior unit and there's five billion of them around them. Cherry apps! Swing low, sweet cherry apps. Shield wall again. Very, very well done on the players in this battle by using things like shield wall against the chariots and elephants. Very well done, and I appreciate that. We don't see that enough. Um, so, nicely done. I think, once again, we may, you could say this might have been a little bit early for the chariots. But I think he was afraid that he was going to lose the opportunity to get them back into the settlement. Honestly, I, oh, he broke. That's why. Because that was actually it would have been a really good opportunity right there. And I, he saw it, but the unit broke. So he can't really do a whole lot about that. So they did pull both of the pikes back. You'd see the little bit of the longbow hunter still shooting. Still shooting fire arrows, though. Heavy horse coming in, trying to slow this down. I only see one of the heavy horse. Where did the other one go? Oh, here we go. One, two. Chariots did come back. Maybe after them being broken, you know, maybe the attackers may have forgot about them. Glacier noblemen are still in shield screen. Yeah, they didn't really forget, unfortunately. He only has 88 kills. 90 and he's gone nope there's still a couple chariots left remember they still get kills when they're broken if they're running through troops they still get kills so it looks like he got just a hair over 100 kills last I saw it was like 111 Oh, they might have another pike here, too. Yep, Nabataean thorax pikes. Pretty similar to the African pikes. Kind of the same 
you know, range. So they've slowed down on the right, which is fair. I think mostly because they're trying to just, you know, put the pressure on up in the upper area here. Um, and then as this pressure builds, they may continue that attack. Noble Riders, once again, I don't get the charging straight into an uphill defense. You know, Mercenary Noble Fighters, they've got 124 kills now. They've only lost 27 men, by the way. Nova Riders are about to break. They really don't have a whole lot over here anymore. They've got, you know, a couple sword masters, which is good. Yeah, and maybe two sword masters double teaming the noble fighter. You might be able to pull something off with that. They gotta, the thing is, they, they gotta be quick about this. And there's one reason why. The defense has three pikes, okay? Even if you can kill the pikes, a lot of times it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of maneuvering to grind your way through them. And the question is gonna come down to whether or not they've got that time. Where did, okay, so there's still all three up there. I'm a little surprised that they're still putting this much into this. Glacian Legionaries charging in on some Spear Nobles. I, I, I Oath Sworn, bring your Oath Sworn. Chosen Sword, Oath Sworn, and Celtic Warriors. So that's your, that's your build for our Verney. You know what I mean? What you do is you, you pick your general, you pick your four archers, then you add seven chosen swordsmen and then build from there. What that means is, you know, you're probably gonna have like seven chosen swords and like maybe five or six Celtic warriors, you know? You should, as the attackers, probably at least have two O-sworn, inclu including your general, maybe even three. You know, the defense, it's a little bit harder because you have less money, but you know, that's kind of the the blueprint for a good winning Arverni army. Spear Nobles, they're just not as good as Osworn. I'm sorry. With Galatia, Galatia's easy, right? Galatia doesn't have much more than what they have on this battlefield, which is a bunch of Galatian legionaries, and typically you'll see, you'll usually see some Galatian swords as well. Uh, but we didn't really see a whole lot of them in this fight. So Galatia's pretty straightforward. You know, you should not be bringing a bunch of Galatian spear units. If you are, please watch some of these videos and hopefully learn a little bit more that, you know, bring always bring your Galatian legionaries. Galatia's army they big in this battle has been very good. Most of the armies have, have been pretty decently picked. Sometimes I see people's armies and I'm like, oh gosh. Oh, you poor sweet child. The mercenary noble fighters here, 202 kills, and they're just now getting to half health. Nabazine and Thorax Pikes aren't in formation. By the way, they have two. I didn't see the second one, but they do have two Thorax Pikes two African pikes, so that is four pikes that the attackers have to get through. This is going to be tough. Especially given the fact that it believes the attackers are out of ammo. They still have a decent chunk of Galatian units in the back here. Swaby still has sword masters. I think what three here? They got a kind of tiny depleted one down there. You need to put your pikes in formation. They don't have their pikes out. No, don't advance that. You're probably best off staying where you were. 
up here where they're heading to is a larger gap you know harder for a pike unit a single pike unit to hold so i really don't get why they move forward see look where he's positioned now you know and they're still not in pike formation now this one is oh i thought i saw the triple chevrons in this and i thought that was the pike i was like are you kidding me but oh, the mercenary noble fighters have three chevrons with 292 kills I don't believe that was from uh, chevroning before the game. I don't remember seeing chevrons on it earlier. I would say at least two of those are earned. Guaranteed. But I'm pretty sure all three of them are. It's pulling out the pike, and I'm honestly not sure why. I guess for now, let the, the upper tiers do their job. Got to be careful because the noble fighter is pretty weak. He's only 62 men left. So you may not have much of a choice but to put that pike back. So Osworn goes in. Good charge by, by the Osworn. No headhunt you there is the headhunt. And do we get a headhunt from Getty? Sorry, I bumped my mic. 23 kills. Cretans here from Carthage still have some ammo. Second wind on Getty, well done. And a battle rhythm, all right. Now, the noble swords and sword masters are having a tough time because once again it's it's an uphill fight you know what i mean and they're going against very good units noble fighters are now at 311 kills the osworn at 47. now the reason for the osworn just not really picking up a lot of kills right now is because it's going up against a comparable unit in the uh, in the noble sword the Osworn, did I say Osworn? The Osworn doesn't look like it's getting a lot of kills, but you know, it's going against a same tier unit. Pikes have kind of backed up a little bit. I would just bring my other pike in and just set up, you know? You could probably even do three of them in this area pretty well. They've got the Osworn General for Arverni standing here. Maybe getting Heavy Horse trying to go in. The other Heavy Horse already did. He's got 64 kills. Get a charge. Uh, he's getting some good kills. Hundred and twenty kills. That's obviously not all from that charge, but now interestingly, we keep seeing people separating between their battle rhythm and their their head hunt. When realistically, the best time to use those things is together. You hit your battle, your battle rhythm. You hit your head hunt. Either way, it doesn't matter which you know, which one goes first. But you do it at the same time. Then, when they both wear out, you second wind the unit. But you gotta like think about the combination of the buff from oath from uh, battle rhythm and head hunt at the exact same time is very good. No counter charge from the Osworn General. I'm going to keep bragging on it. 
Use your... Why are we... I don't... Why are we using fire arrows? None of these units are at a point of collapse, quote-unquote. Other than this very, 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 very depleted noble award, or noble fighter. There you go. Now we're getting some normal shots against the thorax pikes. Unfortunately, attackers have more ammo than I thought they did. I thought they were basically empty, dry. But the Dacian heavy bows seem to have pretty decent ammo. This thorax is getting messed up. They're going to have to consider African pikes in soon. That thorax, Nabatean thorax pike is basically beyond its true usefulness. 145 kills with two chevrons on the Osworn. That's because he's only been killing high tier units. 86 kills on the Noble Sword, 10 on the Swordmaster, but the Swordmaster is pretty fresh. Now the arrow's coming in. Oh, this uh, Longbow Hunter has lots of ammo. Right now, the pikes don't specifically need to be in combat. You could probably hold them back for a minute as your high tier units continue to fight. I will say, um, I mean, he doesn't have a whole lot, so he's probably fine. Never mind. I was going to say, our Varney putting in his general like this, I think is a little risky, but most of his army's dead. He does have this one who's sworn left, 78 men, 164 kills. Once again, I don't know why we're using the fire arrows. The When you want to use the fire arrows is this. See the yellow? Or if you see red, even better. So like that, that's when you use your fire arrows. Because that is means their morale is low and that you might break them. You see, even some of the Galatian units here are low. I think that's because I wonder if the Galatian general might be dead. 74 men. So maybe not. They, where did, what? Where did they have another scythe chariot? He brought like 18 scythe chariots. I, I swear to God, they're just like popping out of nowhere. Now this is a problem. Well, I guess they're they're okay for now because they've got the pike still in here. But the pike is kind of not. What the, I think the noble sword pushed through the pike, which is what's killing it. You see all these noble sword units behind the pike unit. It's either that or the pike. You know, sometimes they're a little glitchy. Maybe, like, he gave it an attack order and it, like, pushed forward or something. Now side chariots coming in on the back end. He's going to push this way. No shield wall from the Swordmasters. 224 kills on the side chariot. Bounce power is way more even than it was a couple minutes ago. 235. And they still have two healthy pikes. I think this battle might be GG. Side chariots 270 with three chevrons. Because all this stuff is sword masters and noble swords and and stuff like that. 310. Bounce power isn't shifting a whole lot. I actually thought it would shift more with this, but he is getting low on that chariot. 334, three chevrons. Two 
Secretary at 361. Look at the balance of power shift. They actually brought the African Pike up. Noble Sword trying to slip by. Cap should charge that. They took the, that depleted Navatean thorax and tried to pin it. Three, he's really just not getting it. Well, they're all shield wall or shield screen at this point, so. I believe that is a time victory for the defenders. So let's start off for the defenders. We've got Nabatea being commanded by Decimal. This is the person who sent in the battle. So he brought Scythe Chariots. Um, two of them did very, very well. Two of them did okay. Um, archers all did, you know, pretty decent. 210 on one of them. It's uh, infantry was a little bit iffy, but I believe he led the, well, nope, he did not. We got Pagan as Carthage was 1981. Um, two of his arches did very well. One of them eh, and his Balearics did pretty good. Pikes 50 and 60. One of them still pretty healthy. Libyan infantry, to be honest with you, were just outmatched. But look at that, 334 on one of his noble fighters with three chevrons. Um, CDH, the king, 23, uh, 27 as Arverni. Archers, decent. Osworn, 183. 140 on one of the heavy horse. His infantry, all in all, did pretty solid. 250 on another Osworn. For the attackers, we've got R. Bud as Gete with 2,399 kills. Noble Sword, 329. 251 on the Ballista. Archers did very well. And then look at the Noble Swords. 305, 249, 143. Baron as Galatia with 2,661 kills, leading the entire game. Archers all did very well. 127 on the Celtic Scorpion. And Galatian Legionaries doing what Galatian Legionaries do. Look at those. I mean, sheesh. Um, if the Galatia player is watching, let me know, did you chevron a, these before the game? I, I'd be interested if you did. Um, e even then, some of these are earned, so. Why me, 98, that's uh, Swaby with 1443. Unfortunately, just not not having as much luck. Um, the Swordmaster's not performing the way I think he wanted him to. And the Wolf Warriors, they just needed more support and more cycling and that's not really a doable thing when storming the walls but that is going to be it for today's battle thank you guys so much for joining don't forget that um here in just a minute you should see a link pop up on the screen for the how to access your replays video so that if you have be battles you want to send to be covered uh to be sent on discord or something Watch that video. It'll tell you how to do it. And thank you guys so much for joining. We'll see you guys next time.